What is up, people? Good afternoon <laughs> to you guys. We are coming to you from Hope Farms. Welcome. This is Gracie. That's Katie Stone. Uh, so really cool event happening. Katie, Very you want to cool. you want to let the viewers know what yeah. we're doing? So I guess every year, Recipe for Success hosts a, and it's a national effort, isn't it? So this is our 10th anniversary, 10th anniversary of our annual Veg Out Challenge that we started to celebrate National Nutrition Month. Um, we push it every year during March, the National Nutrition Month. But in fact, people play all the time. So it didn't have to be March, but we're playing in March. Well, what do you mean by play? By play, I mean that we have gamified eating your veggies. I like so it. So the challenge is to eat 30 different veggies in 30 days. Ruben can do that. I, he can do I it. Can I know do he it. can I do can that. Do Absolutely. I've, I've done it. Here, we'll get you started. All right. Have a radish. Thank oh, you. my God. Radish? I mean, so this is a French <laughs> breakfast radish. Okay. Cheers. Well, I know it's not breakfast. Well, is it breakfast in France? Wait, really? It That's... could be breakfast time in France. And so. That's good. Really? It's delicious. Okay. All right. It's not a damn snake. Well, it's, little, like, I'm it's not as like radishy as it. I expected. Oh, it's a mild radish mild. flavor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you know how the French eat it and also how I eat it. I love it. That's dip good. it into a little soft butter, unsalted mm. butter, and then dip it into really flaky sea salt. Just Ooh, a little bit of it. It's a little peppery at the end. Uh -huh. I know. I hope I say there's a little kick. A little kick. A little All right. Cup. Day one covered. That's yeah. it. We're good. Well, the whole idea is if you're trying to eat 30 different vegetables in 30 days, you're going to try something you haven't had before, okay. like a French breakfast radish. Yeah. Right? So there yeah. you go. And I'm going to guess that's grown right here at Hope Farms. These came right off the farm. Boom. We just harvested yeah. them today. Oh Boom. My goodness. Yeah, these are good. Now, and, yeah. you go online to vegoutwithrfs.org. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you sign up. And you guys have an app, though, too, right? And then you download the app, and I can't even tell you how easy it is. There's nice. even pictographs of hundreds of veggies, and you can just hit the plus and say, I ate an artichoke today. And are there also suggestions on how? Because, you know, it could be a little bit tough for somebody who doesn't eat as many veggies. They don't, wouldn't know how. Might to... not be as easy as this, yeah. right? Just chomping on a Yeah, well, in. sometimes figuring out how to prepare it or what to put it in right. is, you know, just as tough as finding the veggies. So we have hundreds of recipes that you can search by ingredient, okay. right? Or just like cruise through. There's lots of, lots of uh, photographs. I love right? it. I love so, it. So um, easy. And then you can also see what other people are doing. Oh, so you can see like photos of what somebody else has made or right. what they've tried that day. What they're cooking. Very is cool. Use a hashtag and follow the hashtag on Ms. Instagram. Uh, Ms. Tina says radishes are yummy. Tina, I come get agree. some of our radishes. <laughs> I, I kind of Tell everybody where Hope Farms is and if they're not, you know, they're not familiar with it. So Hope Farms is just south of the loop uh, at the corner of Airport and Scott. Okay. So you can come south on two, you can come south or north, depending on where you're coming from, on 288 or on 45. Mm -hmm. And Airport Boulevard is the one that runs by Hobby, right? And it goes all the way across between those two freeways. So I live close to downtown. It takes me 12 minutes to get here yeah, on 288. It's, it's really, it's really easy. Good. It's in the historic uh, neighborhood of Sunnyside, yeah, uh, which has a long uh, history in Houston, a very proud and fabulous neighborhood. And it's at a prominent place, so it's easy to get to. So I remember the last time I was out here, uh, what were we, it was a food, were we, we were giving out food and water to people. During the pandemic. Oh, that's right, it was, it was driving up and we would load their trunks and their, but that's you guys, right. but you guys have programs where people can buy vegetables. That's right. Just on a weekly basis and they can, come in and pay a set amount and then you just give them a box of exactly or they can just buy a la carte so we do a couple of things here one is we grow you guys lots keep of, chatting oh, keep going he's out of here <laughs> we grow a yeah. lot of uh, oh yeah better lighting it's like should i maybe i should just hold my light up right next to my face um, there we go. Oh, much better i'm a professional Hi, you know everyone. i think i do, I do like this a for a living blood <laughs> light I, know it I, I think like we it. even have a floodlight outside. Now that you tell the me. Girls could, I mean, I just remembered, right? Just keep rolling with For it, later, Right? I'm thinking on the job here. Live stream, people. Uh, that's <laughs> the way it is. So um, 
So we grow a lot of fresh produce here, thousands of pounds of it. Um, we make it available to our neighbors um, and anybody who is on a um, SNAP card mm -hmm. for a greatly reduced price and then also double up a two for one. So they pay a discounted price and then they get two for one. Two for one. I love it. That's awesome. And um, we also make it available to you and me uh, for regular price, and we can deliver um, produce to you every week. Farmer's Choice, a bag of produce, right to your door on Thursdays. In fact, awesome. we'll be making deliveries yeah. tomorrow. Or you can come to our farm store. Our farm store is open every Saturday, nine to one. Yeah. But you can go online and and order in advance what you want. And either have it delivered or come to the farm store and pick it up or just come I, shop. I think that's awesome. Yeah. So if folks are watching this right now, maybe they're in the vicinity. <gasps> what's happening tonight? We what's are happening having, right now? Right this minute, we're having our first Wednesday market. It's the first Wednesday of the month. Yep. We do this every first Wednesday of the month. And this month, um, for first Wednesday, we invite other makers and growers to join us so other people have booths here everything's handmade um which is fun and um and it's just an evening market it's like an evening farmer's market from four it. to seven i love it whilst also celebrating veg out too yeah this month yeah. we're celebrating the kickoff of our veg out month yeah right next month we'll be celebrating earth day oh. by the way if you want to and that right you guys, and then you next guys month will be like a, well we have a full calendar every first wednesday there's something else sassy going on cool. right from four to seven cool yeah cooking cool. is there some cooking, cooking happening yes in fact you, you guys are going to get to meet some of the folks who are doing cooking demos here tonight we'll have three different back-to-back -back, uh cooking demos the first one is and you're going to love this drinkables oh. uh carlos Meltzer, who's our culinary director here okay um has crafted um um a, a mix what's it called a cocktail well that you add to a cocktail what's that uh, called um, a mix yeah there's a real name for it that i'm old enough forgot oh, what it is like a, like a mocktail kind of? and so you add, you can add it to a club soda or you could add it to to rum or vodka or anything. Right. So we call them drinkables and we also have the little garden, right? There's a, you can bring me one of those little gardens. It's right in there. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. So we have a little garden already planted up for um, pina colada oh. and a little garden already planted up for mojito. Oh, and it looks this. like we yeah. have one. There. Oh, voila. Look at this it. is the mojito. A mojito, oh, right? Here, we Come might on. be able to pick it up if our second camera is live. We might be able to pick it up. There's a good chance. There might be a oh, chance. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I don't know. We may, not, we may not have a second camera right now, but that's very cool. But we can, here, we can, yeah, yeah. there. Look at that. There you go. Perfect. Mojitos on the first camera. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. That's cool. That's so you can cool. grow your own botanical how much are these uh, guys? additive. And so I what are we and so I should for? know how much Never that is. is. Go to the website. <laughs> Just go to the website. I want to say it's like fifteen dollars, okay. right? And then you can it'll become a big wonderful pot. And Carlos is gonna get everything comes with the recipe. So that's how to a make a mojito idea. out of that's that. A that's gift a really super good gift. Yeah, great gift idea for twenty four ninety nine for price to move. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's it. All right. So, so Carlos is gonna be demoing a shrub. That's what those are called. Shrubs. It's called a shrub. Okay. Right? We'll when you make that. a mixture that's uh, really condensed and then you add club soda to it or you add oh, vodka I never, to it. I didn't know that. Yeah. I don't think I knew that. I yeah. didn't know that either. No. New word. You have a new vegetable <laughs> and a new word. We're learning about, we're learning, you know, French, French radishes, terms. French breakfast radishes and shrubs. Welcome. That's it. That's it. <laughs> all right. Stick, so, stick with all right, me. We'll so learn a lot of things. Gracie, one more time. Yeah. One more yeah. time. Throw the website out because we got to switch gears and bring another guest in. So www.vegoutwithrfs.org. That's to veg out or hopefarmshtex.org. Love it. Get you there too, probably. Gracie, awesome. You're awesome. Thank you. We're going to swap you out. There's I was going to cheers you with Let's my salada. Oh, yeah. yep. This is our pickle, pickle pear to vegging out. Lem lemonade. Yep. Delicious. And I, I think I think our girls from Salada are coming yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something somebody's coming awesome. up next. Yeah. Much next more interesting guest. than me. I'll take the normally we would go to I can't stand up. How okay, about that? All righty. And and you're going to go in. Oh, wow. Here we go. Tray, though, so we're going to have to just stick it right over there. Make some room here. Oh, 
Oh, boy. Hi. Hi. Look at you. Wow. I came in with props. I love it. Wow, wow, I love wow, it. Wow, wow, wow. All right. So, and, and I'm sorry, tell me your name again. I know we Hi. met a little while ago. Yeah, I'm Allison Cocker. I'm the public relations and loyalty manager at Salada Salad Kitchen at our home office. But today, what is up? Yeah. Today, I am our Veg Out ambassador. So, happy to be here for All right. sure. So, uh, folks, Salada. Some people know the name. Some people have seen, seen it around. We just got one in our neighborhood, so we're very oh, excited. Awesome. Uh, so all around Houston, right? We're yes. starting to see saladas. Yeah. Um, um, so tell us a little bit about the sampling here. Like this, we would find this if we would go to your restaurant. Absolutely. So Salada Salad Kitchen is a fully customizable salad and wrap kitchen. We have over 80 locations in Texas, Louisiana, California, Georgia, and cool. most recently in North Carolina. So that's our newest market. Um, but for Veg Out Month, we are having, or we are serving a specialty salad. It is called the Spring Vegetable Salad, only available online. It's part of our set salad menu. Um, and at Salada, of course, you will find over 50 fresh toppings available to make your perfect salad or wrap. We also have. Um, 11 house-made gluten-free dressings as I love well. It. So what are you guys doing for veg out? Do you have a special salad for veg yes. out? Is that, right? is that it? That is it over Katie, there. Katie, grab it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Oh, yeah, go for it. Yeah. So this is our special uh, spring vegetable salad. It has over 10 veggies on here. here. Let me take this yeah. over here and see if we can get... Uh, So there's over 10 veggies there. Um, so it's really easy for you to order that salad online. You can get it for pickup or delivery from salada.com or our mobile app. And, and what is the name of the salad? Spring vegetable salad. Spring vegetable yes. salad. And this is your special salad that goes along with the veg out yes. celebration because it has so many veggies. So many veggies. Yes. So you could basically get how many servings of veggies in this salad right here? Well, there are 10 different veggies in here, or more than 10, I think about 12 actually, different yeah. veggies in here. If you count the lettuce base, um, which has romaine and um, purple cabbage yeah. and some other veggies in there. But essentially I think about 12 servings of veggies. 12 servings, yeah. okay. So, so you, that's, is, and what is your, what's the recommended it looks daily? looks really good amount do you know of right. recommended veggie servings of veggie servings you know i'm not 100 sure okay. i think okay. we'd have to check <laughs> yeah but it's safe to say that if Look, you man. came in and got that you would be good for the day you, you were going in the well. right direction yeah, yeah exactly absolutely you'd yeah. be doing well and you'd be almost halfway through the veg out challenge with just that salad alone yeah absolutely well, you're speaking Katie's language. She's, <laughs> she's, she leans very heavily to the veggie side of yes. life. You know, we're not going to call her a vegetarian, but she she leans very, eventually one day very veg, veg forward, veg forward. very veg, like very it. veg yes. forward. Yeah. So, what number one question you think you get asked by your customers when they come through the door? Oh. They've never been to Salada. What do you think? Uh, what's a common Number one, Reaction. I would definitely say they are astounded by the number of options that we have because okay. we do have over 50 fresh veggies or sorry, 50 fresh toppings and 30, more than 30 of those are actually vegetables. So you could come into Salada and only Salada mm -hmm. and completely complete the veg out challenge just by coming into Salada. But I would say number one is usually a recommendation on what to build together because yeah. it's just what so goes, many options. Well together. Do yes. you want to play name that veggie? Oh, oh yeah, Katie Stone, that. you're our first. Really Katie, really Stone, Katie Stone, you're our first contestant. Name this no, veggie. This is such a setup. Um, that Spaghetti. is going to be jicama. Oh wow! Yes. Boom. Let's go, baby. <laughs> like, see, the thing is, he's trying to trick me because I'm not. Sometimes I see things, and I I don't know why, but I just think there's something completely on the other end of the spectrum. <laughs> Luckily, they there are no really, pretzels really, today. Really are. There are yes, no pretzels so today, so we're in good shape. Pretzels. And we love a jicama because it has that crunch factor. Yeah. And it's, it's I nice. love you can, jicama too. You can add that in there. It's really good. Yeah. It's really good with our lemon vinaigrette for sure. Mm. Um, and it doesn't add any carbs if that's something that you are I love jicama. watching. Absolutely. But my you, son Luca would like the jicama too. Oh, really? No. Dressings? How many dressings do you guys so have we, in the store? Right now we have over 11, or we have 11 dressings. This okay. one is our buttermilk ranch, Ooh. which we Ooh. paired with our veg out salad, the spring vegetable salad. I love it. Mostly because this one, uh, ranch is a really easy dressing. A lot of people are familiar with it. This one's pretty dill forward. Mm -hmm. Rosemary um, saying dill. hello. Hi, Rosemary. <laughs> Hi, Rosemary. <laughs> All right. Uh, I mean, I mean, so we love that one for the salad because especially because veg out's all about encouraging people they haven't before in the veggie spectrum so ranch is really nice because most people love ranch and it makes it easier to eat a bunch of veggies mm -hmm. i think i agree i, I like 
this setup right here. Like, yeah. I know you, you can, can try just go anything. and pick. No, this is just a display. <laughs> just kind of work it like, in. Like I want, I would want, I would be so totally fine. It's just like all a la carte. Just like all the things you can pick together. Exactly. Yeah. Like going to a restaurant and just being like, I want the, I want to, you know, be able to. With a grazing board or something, oh, you that know. Would be nice, yeah. I want a grazing Without board. looking, <laughs> can you can you recite the salata mantra? What is it? <laughs> salata mantra. I'm not sure if we have one, but it's definitely focused on being. I've fully... seen it on a lot of T-shirts here, so I'm guessing <laughs> oh, yes. 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 Start with love. Act with purpose. Serve with gratitude. Mm. There you go. Uh, yeah. And this is something we try to. We're working it in. Yes. <laughs> We try to live by that definitely in the restaurants when we're serving our guests, as well as anything we do at the home office. And when we're thinking about any kind of campaigns we run or who we partner with, yeah. this is what we think about. Well, so. I got to hand it to you. Everything I've tasted, very fresh. Very good. Yes, so I yeah. like that. Our veggies are chopped fresh daily by our team members. They I come in every morning at like... 6 30 7 a.m and start chopping it's a. Uh, i'm sure this is the healthiest thing stuff. i've ever no, know, eaten during like, a live stream <laughs> like the thing is is like it, it's so it's so encouraging to eat it because it's like these tiny little colorful yes bowls of veggie and like you can't help yourself it's but, inviting like, be attracted to it that's like, right mm, that's it's right small it's... and orange i know definitely french bowl and we right. do have uh, or sorry go ahead let's do let's do website if folks want information social media for you know, all the stuff that's happening, whatever campaigns you're running, what is it? Tell where us. Do, where do diners find the special The salad? special salad mm -hmm. can be found at salada.com or on our mobile app. Um, you can search that just by in the, the Google Play or Apple Store, searching Salada Salads. Um, we are also on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Salada Salads. And so... So when you order that online, yeah. you pick it up at the restaurant or it's delivered to you? You or can do both. Or you send a drone? <laughs> I wish we had drones. Not yet. That would we're, be working, we're working salad on the drone. drone. So you get the That's salad. Next level. And then you can, and then you tweet or post on Instagram mm -hmm. a picture with the hashtag veg out. I love it. And, and you can check out cool. all of those, yeah. all 12 of those veggies on your list. Yeah. Super cool. That's awesome. I love it. Thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, somebody, somebody's loving it. I think. Oh, hey. there's, 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 oh. It's a party in the studio. Oh, Someone's go. having a good time. I love it. Well, they hey, were, thanks. I wish they were here. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Absolutely. And we're going to move on. Yeah, I think we're going to sure. get, hang on a second. Let's, who, oh, sure. who's coming up next? We got the honey guy. That's oh, exciting. the honey guy. We've got something sweet coming up. I know. I know. So is this your, guys, your, um, first time coming down to Hope Farms? Uh, it's not actually. We partnered with Rescue for Success for a couple of years and we came here during I love that. our 15th anniversary and did a volunteer day. Love it. Um, helped build some of the uh, raised beds out there. So I it, love it. It was a it was so a you guys have been, day. <laughs> you guys have been connected for a while. Yeah. Last, yes, last thing I'm going to ask, who made the sure. prickly pear lemonade? Oh, that is us for sure. So we have prickly pear lemonade Ooh. as well as our green tea. I'm so telling you, it's so good. Here. Let me see that gallon. Look at this. Yeah. This Look at is, this. This is yeah. I've had at least this I'm much of this. This, this is home. fantastic. This, this is amazing. Yeah. And you can order these separately or from our catering menu. So that's they're super tasty. Way to go. For sure. Hit it. <laughs> Boom. So a lot of people go do it. Get your get your veggie for sure, online. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Get, you guys. Can you get that thing? Yeah, I got, got it. it. Woo. All right. Sorry for Sorry guys. Our floor director called in sick today, so we're having to do this all by ourselves. <laughs> Man, so Katie, who yeah. is our next guest? So we've got a Yes, yeah. and then the dude's coming. Sure. Yeah. Take a we're, look at we Hive We're working Ooh. with a, we're oh thinking, we're thinking about oh, a smoke screen. Wow. Like a smoke machine, and then when yeah. it clears, we're here. Can I open this up? And sure. Yeah. Voila. Okay. What's up, man? I'm, I'm Cyrus. Re hey, Cyrus. I'm Hi, Ruben Cyrus. from Hive Bee Farm. Hive Bee Farm. Look at that. Look how cool the packaging is. Wow. Hive Bee Farm. All right, man. Well, I don't know anything tell about us, you guys. Yeah, tell us, tell us well, what you I do. have 150 hives in 12 different locations all over the Houston area. Okay. And one of our first locations was here at Hope Farms. I love that. And I'm so I'm we're their pollinators, helping with all their vegetables. So. And uh, so this is one of our larger pieces of honeycomb. Man. I do sell to a lot of restaurants as well. Uh, Brasserie 19, Whiskey Love, cake. love yeah. B19. Uh, Shout out to Charles and the guys. God, look at that. That just looks amazing. This is so in cool. fact, I used to be in the restaurant business, and, and beekeeping is much less stressful. And you got smart. <laughs> you said, I am out. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you know, if the hours are a little bit better. and uh, do, you prefer, do you prefer to face upset bees 
Oh yeah, upset customers. Upset bees are upset great. Bees. Okay, I love getting stung. No problem. I love it. I love it. Do you wear like the? I still wear a bee suit, but uh, you know, for most beekeepers and most people, uh, they've become more immune to the stings over time, and so almost nothing happens just, to me when like, I get stung. You just drop your equipment, like you don't even wear it when you go near. Oh no, I still anymore. wear my suit okay, so you wear because it. you know it's always that just in case. Okay. I have some hives that are very nice and friendly, and I can open them up. It and takes one bee. There's always one jerk. To just ruin the day. Yeah. Understood. So I've had a little bit of experience with local honey. Yeah. And I was amazed just trying one from one neighborhood to the other. Yeah. How different the flavor profile. So it can tell folks about that. Yeah. So it, the flavor of honey can change up to every five miles based on what's growing wow. near the bees because that's their forage radius. Typically they stay about one and a half miles from the hive, but as they've consumed everything close by they go a little bit further and further and five miles is their total range that they will go away from the hive and find all kinds of different things it's, it's really it, it, it was impressive to so find that really out what's in the jar you got a little something i got a little here. jar of honey like you just showed that that gallon i do have gallons of honey yeah. as well but <laughs> the, uh, our small jars and our pints are our most popular sellers in addition to you know spe i specialize in honeycomb is the main thing i do as well so truth uh true or false you know, a lot of folks say for like folks with like allergies or a cold or something that local honey is yeah. really good for you. I say it's true. Okay. Um, not just for myself, but I've had many customers that say it has helped them. And, you know, Proof that's of performance. Exactly. COP. Even one customer, she said she takes two tablespoons a day yeah. as medicine in the morning, just like a, two spoons. Yep. And it got rid of her allergy induced asthma. I believe that. I believe it. Yeah, that hearing. was that was a lot. I was shocked yeah, that you know even talked that about much. Yeah, honey for a very long time too. And mm -hmm. my but, grandfather was a big honey consumer, and yeah, you know all kinds of stuff like that. It's so natural, I, man. I, I yeah, have a so in it. yeah, you can put it in anything too. I mean, there's like, do you do any like kind of like flavored or hot honey? I do or? a uh, whiskey barrel oh, honey where wow. I age it in a recently emptied whiskey barrel. <laughs> Did you bring the barrel? That's, I didn't bring the barrel. The, the, the barrel full of honey weighs about 700 pounds. <laughs> so we have, I, what is it? Is it, is it a little bit spicy or is it a little bit? It definitely takes on, it's safe for kids and all adults, but uh, it definitely takes on flavors of kids. the particular whiskey really? and the char and the oak from the barrel. You're do you, gonna do eat you that? want to just nibble on a I little piece? Get a spoon. I mean, get a spoon. Sure. Do we have a we spoon? Can. Again, our floor director out sick today, so normally we would have our we would have a team ready to respond what, um, now what where did this one come from yeah. which hive what part of town it came from katie sure it did <laughs> sure it did uh, i don't label this... every box because all of my hives are in areas that I didn't are considered know you had local, a beehive. local how, to the houston area but how do you deliver so like you said brasserie 19 is one of your it's one of your clients yeah is this how you deliver exactly it? i take them a bunch of these every week they would get this can you guys see this i don't know if you guys can see this back right look at it so delicious. So you deliver it like this, and then what so happens? So delicious. And then they, most of my restaurant customers are using it for their cheese plates. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've seen that. Like yes. a little board. Since we're in the middle of cut. charcuterie yeah, board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, charcuterie cheese plates, great it's over so, yogurt, it's... ice cream, granola. No, you can go ahead, Ruben. Come on. Oh, no, you can go ahead. I can go open up a hive over here and get Wait, some more. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You can eat the whole mm. thing. That's really good. Really? So I honey is great for allergies, but it also has many other medicinal uses. I, no, when you have a, a cough, yeah, it's yeah. been proven to be as I'll good or little. better than store-bought cough syrup. I believe that, though. Do you swallow the whole thing or how the wax You stuff? can. Uh, swallowing beeswax in small quantities, such as in honeycomb, acts as a fiber through the digestive system and has some cholesterol-lowering abilities. I'm good. I'm good on fiber for right some now. Some people, you can also spit it out. But, uh, um, but the, that's one of the benefits. And of course, it's totally raw, processed, unfiltered in any way, shape, or form. And that's amazing. That's so, the best. Yeah. So before we let you go, difference between, so when you when you filter it, or maybe it's a small a store-bought, or it's some sort of, you know, big label. Sure. So I'm assuming you lose a lot of the... Benefit, health benefits, benefits allergy benefits. So a lot so of So you the, want the raw, unfiltered. Absolutely. The larger uh, honey producers or sellers in the supermarket are going to be pasteurized and filtered more right to and that takes out so they'll have things, shelf life but what it, yeah. honey never goes back oh but one of the things that does is it slows down or stops crystallization mm -hmm. now all real honey will eventually crystallize 
but there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Use a spoon heat to get it up, out. Heat it up a little bit and boom. So 140 degrees will pasteurize honey. So if you're going to heat it up, heat it up very gently. Very gently. You yeah. can put it in a hot car and when it's warm outside yep. or in some warm, not boiling water. I love or that. just use a spoon. Local Nothing honey wrong with is, it crystallized. Really, is, is a really kind of like something Knowledge. that everybody needs to be doing. Mm -hmm. It's buying honey and making sure it's local. Because, All right. Yeah, so uh, so. Uh, we'll find out right now. So before we let you go, the website, how do folks find you? Where yeah, are you? Yeah, ibfarm.com. And I'm also at Memorial Village's Farmer's Market and Urban Harvest Farmer's Market every Saturday. Rock and roll. Thank you so Thank much. You Thank you for so joining much. us, man. That it's was nice fantastic. I'm going to send this back with you. Thank you for everything, guys. Check them out. Support local anytime that you can. Thank you. It was a delicious interview. Very sweet interview. All right. So I'm told the dude is next. Hello. hello. This would be the hello. dude. What's up, man? How are you? Hi, Have a seat. Nice to Have a you. seat. Come on in. Yeah. It's a little bit of a tight I feel, squeeze. I feel funny sitting in your no, 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 no. Oh, and who is with you? Someone is behind you. This is the, this is my better half. Man. The better half. All right. Cool. Yeah. Well, guys, I'm sorry. We're we're kind of squeezed in here. We're, we're, we're dealing with some issues. So, for the folks at home, man, tell us a little bit about yourselves. What do you do? Hey, I am Eric Jones, aka Dude That Cooks with the Z. Okay. Is my beautiful wife behind me? And I'm Shanna Jones. There you go. With an S and a J. Shanna, I love it. I love it. I love it. So, yeah. uh, tell me about what you guys do. I mean, is there a, is there a restaurant? Is there a food truck? No, is there a kiosk? Is there, are you a traveling cooking no, we, concept? We, we are an online cooking force. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. So we are on. We are we're a local food blog. Okay. Uh, our, our our object is really to take uh, good ingredients and turn them into great recipes. Um, so we're basically just a local food blog, and cool. we basically share a lot of the recipes that we create at home with everyone on the internet. Uh, we create videos, do okay. a lot of photography. She's a photographer, so I do the food, I do the cooking. Good she does the helps. staging and the, yeah. and the photography, tasting. right? And she does the tasting. Yeah. So we're kind of we're kind of Appar tag apparently she's ninety percent of this organization. Right. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, I'm no math genius. There you go. There you go. You guys have been doing this for a while, right? Well, yes. no, no. Well, a little, I guess, say? well, four years in January. Okay. Yeah. Yep. yeah I guess four and the food blogging game, that's a long time. Yeah. That is a, that, yeah. that is right. a long time because yeah. everybody throws up a blog and then they're gone. And right. like, whatever happened, happened to that person? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. since since we're in March, we're talking veg out challenge. Yeah. Tell me like one veggie forward recipe that you guys might have. Hey, well, today we'll be pairing, we'll be preparing a uh, polenta. Mm -hmm. uh, cheesy polenta. Yes. Uh, you know, if you like grits, then you'll love polenta. Yes. And so what we'll do is we'll top it off with some chimichurri. Yeah. And then we'll top it off with some fresh um, asparagus and mushrooms. Man, that sounds great. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> to me, great. mushroom is, is my go-to. Yeah, I love mushrooms. I love yeah, mushrooms, same, but I also same. love the asparagus. Mm -hmm, you know, you same. toss some asparagus in some... Yep. Some truffle oil or something yep. like that. You got me in right yep. there. Boom. So, so have you guys worked with Hope Farms before? No, this will no. be the first time. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, it's uh, this is only my second time here, but it's, it's very impressive. I love everything they're doing here. Yeah. And uh, I made the mistake of calling them a community garden, and I was okay. quickly, quickly put on the correct path. They're okay. an actual working farm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. you know, that's good. Here. So uh, how is... From the time you guys started the blog, how, how have you seen the growth? How, how, how have you seen the reactions, the views, the just the, the hits online? I'll tell you what. I think our biggest asset is more on the engagement. We okay. get a lot of engagement. So we get a lot of people uh, interacting with questions, you know, trying to figure out how to, you know, make some of the recipes and also just, you know, just thanking us for helping them out. Because a lot of the recipes we do, we try to base everything based on what we consider clean eating. Right. So some of the stuff is that's why it's called healthier. Right. Some stuff we make is just great, tastes great. Right. Uh, it may not have an all around healthier spin on it, but okay. most of the things we do, we try to make, you know, fresh ingredients. So we try to make sure that, uh, you know, there's no I grew up with around a garden and my grandfather had a garden. So I'm always trying to make sure that we try to help people mm -hmm. eat that. healthier and, and, and not have to give up flavor. I love that. And then from an engage from an engagement perspective, I mean, we started this thing four years ago just as like, let's just share your taste kitchen Friday night right, right. Mm -hmm. right. with the world because he's an amazing chef and cook. But then four years later, we're actually three years in, we got a right. cookbook deal. Right. Oh, wow. fantastic. And yeah. we went from just a family sharing, you know, 
the dude <laughs> to a really <laughs> to fun public, social media published to author. Yeah. Yeah. author. See, yeah. 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 a lot of talent. Hey, it's pretty humbling. A lot of talent in this yeah. town. You guys, and uh, are you guys? In the area, where, yeah. where's, 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 yeah, where's, yeah uh, we're, we're local. We're, I guess, right now, we're right now, uh, we're in between our old home and our new home. <laughs> okay, we're in we're the gallery in the area, of, right? Yeah. Now. All right, expansion yeah. people, expansion. Right. Yeah. there we go. Yes. That's, yes. It. That's, too, that's it. Too, that's a good thing. You guys thing. know my mom, too. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Really, yes. Yeah. She yeah. was, um, my prior life as a rest as a rest of a restaurant recipe. See, mm-hmm. I get them confused. A restaurant blogger cleverly yeah. was. At the forefront, we've been on her show a couple of times. Okay, good. Yeah, she was the that. reason why yeah. you know Urban Swank, you know, had the visibility that it had. Oh wow! She gave us her stamp. You know, when Cleverly yeah. gives you her stamp, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. a real yeah. deal. That's she, a real she speaks deal. very highly of her. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, really that's amazing. Well, that's a, that that Thank is so that much. is amazing. Yeah. That is amazing. So. uh People are going to the blog. They're finding out about you guys. And you the know, the, and the cookbook. Yep. The word is spreading. Yeah. So, folks want to reach you. How do they find the blog? How do they find you on the socials? How do they get the cookbook? Yeah. Hey, well, the cookbook can be accessed on Amazon okay. or through our, our our site. Okay. Our website is www.dudethatcooks. Okay. With the Z. With the Z. Can't forget the Z. The Z no, is no, very the important. The Z is important. Yes, very understood. Important. So yeah, we we're on Instagram. We're on Pinterest. Uh, we're on Facebook. Uh, all the socials, all all, all of the, the socials, all the, all the yeah. socials. Yeah, everything, everything that has a social media presence, we're trying to be there. Yeah, all and platforms. Just, everybody just keep. Well, I'm excited because they're gonna have a cooking demo. Yes, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna, gonna, we're gonna mention that. So yeah. I'm gonna be sous chefing. Okay. And professional <laughs> taste testing. Nice. Right, kicking off veg out. Right, and we're I gonna show it. you how yeah. to create veggie pork meals. Right. Like. Like Eric mentioned, we have the polenta with the mushrooms, asparagus, chimichurri, yeah, and then hungry. we're reusing the chimichurri and a stuffed mushroom. Yeah, yeah. Veggie, veggie, veggie from veggie. And that's tonight. Yeah. Uh, you guys can right. still get here too. Yeah, yeah. you guys can yeah. still get here. here we're, we're right, uh, so. right on. Uh, just Google it. Hope Farms, a yeah. recipe for yep. success on yeah. Scott Street. Come on down. Uh, you can see Gracie. You can walk through the garden. You can see all the good stuff. We've got vendors out here. Magpie and Peacocks is out here. Whole bunch of people, man. You can yeah. just you can just you can too. just nibble and stroll and <laughs> watch a cooking demo. Yeah. And uh, Saint Arnold's yeah, he's, out here. There's, there's, there's some, some beer right here, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, need some. There's fun some delicious. Time. It's all fun time. L- lem- lemonades, lemonades. Yeah. Uh, you know how are we doing on time? Where are we? We are. We're we're good. We're we we can wrap anytime. Yeah, we're gonna have to wrap. See, yeah, we're running out of time. All okay. right, man. Such hey, a pleasure to you meet for you. Us. Gracie, you want to come thank in the back? This is awesome. Hey, Gracie, come on everybody. in for the goodbye, guys. We're gonna wrap this up. All right. Wrap come this up. It's veg out with rfs.org, guys. Mm-hmm. It's a great way to discover some healthy eating, some incredible food. Check Hope Farms out as well. Come on down, Go say on hello the to beat. these folks. Uh, you can follow Katie Stone at Katie Stone HTX on Instagram at Fox 26 Ruben. Follow me, guys, and hopefully, we will bring bringing you another delicious afternoon live stream very soon. We're out of here. Peace. We'll see, see you. Bye bye.